What is going on today, YouTube? So, it's been about 2,000 miles since I've done my trans job, and today, we got a flat tire. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. What's up, YouTube? So today, we're doing a shift kit on a 45 RFE trans, typically found in the Dodges. Uh, I have a 01 Dakota. It's the 47 with the auto. Actually, I've already gotten to it. So this is the pan, there's the fluid, and we're doing pretty good. Wait, 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 wait. Moper. Moper. Gotta give her some revs. All right, so I just stopped recording for some reason. I took the first filter down and the bolt and the o-ring is still stuck up in there trying to get it out seems a little tight a little hard I'm gonna have to work on getting that out that looks a little tight so I'll take down this filter if I can. I got a lot of metallic buildup in here, which is not what I wanted to see. And my plate, that is the shift plate, is fully attached. So oh man, that boy is tight. I guess it's kind of supposed to be. Oh, gonna have to get big channel locks. That went, and I didn't have to crush it that much. It's gonna make a mess. I'm sure. Ah, not too bad. Oh, look the the fluid that I sucked in from my my court. That's the brand new fluid. gonna come over to my workstation this is where we be putting the shift kit in um, so I'm not really happy to see this that's bad so we're extending the life of this thing hopefully uh, can't imagine by much though that is some gunky ass shit so oh well that's bad that is bad. And we're nice and brown. I wouldn't say it's black, but it's dark. Let's see. Um, all right, I'm going to fill this up with some Mopar fluid. We'll use this last. That's what I use to like flush it in and try and get more out. But that filter must be so clogged that I'm low on pressure. All right, let's fill this up. I'm going to put it down. All right, so I filled up the new filter, put it in, had a little trouble cross-threading it, just like everybody else did who I watched on the internet do this job. When it went in, no problem. We're doing good. So, pan's pretty dirty, trying to get it cleaned out. Someone used lots of RTV. I was like, wow, my pan doesn't have those divots. I think it does, it's just under all this. See what I'm saying? So. I gotta dig all this RTV off. There was no gasket. Got most of that cleaned out. And then once this is clean, I'll drop the valve body and I'll put that here after cleaning up my pan a bit. Bitch man that does laundry and transmissions. Up a little 
bit. Oh, so I gotta mention, I put this plate on to hold all the pistons in, and then I beat it on the ground in the pan to get the reverse piston out, and I eventually got it out. So, you just gotta have some patience. I put some air through here, but, but the smacking on the ground helped more than the air, but it worked together, so that was that. All right, the phone's got to go back on the charger, but it's all installed. I put lock washers on there, even though it doesn't call for it. And that's it. We're going to go back together. So we're in the park position. Got my new filter. Pan is all clean. Just one more wipe down. Gasket is stuck in place. And ready to go. I got to clean out my funnel. And that's it. Time to get to work. All right, we got the valve body installed and now it's time for the pan. So check it out. Super clean. I use the bolts to hold the gasket in place with a little bit of RTV underneath. So it's gonna be perfect. Flat two step down. Two snuck pan. Flat two step down. But, uh, It'll hold just perfect for installation. Alright. Here's the valve body installed. Um, pan installed. So we'll put those there for me. Um, and <clears throat> What I did for the filter seal is I hammered it in first with a socket on backwards with an extension and then um, and then put the filter in after that. This was a bitch to get out. All right, most of my mess is cleaned up and I put six quarts in it and I'm gonna start it up now. Just, I also disconnected the battery, so let's see what happens. Make sure it moves. Oh, right away. Very good. So we're driving it and uh, it really does feel completely different. All the shift points feel different. It's smooth. It, um, it goes into a drive to reverse quicker. When you floor it, it has a quicker lockup. Um, so I'm, I'm very happy with the job, uh, but I, I went, it was a little light on the fluid. I had about six and a half to seven quarts that I filled it up with. So I'm just gonna buy two more, put one more in real quick and then uh, check it again. It definitely took close, it seemed like close to like seven or eight quarts came out, so. We out here, topping up on my ATF. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. All right, got my wheel off. You can see all my rust. This is where the frame's rust in half. But anyway, I would imagine that's, that's my guy. All right, back on, back on the ground. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Appreciate all you guys. Thanks again.